4,030 pounds, a completely new endeavor from the Coachman Catalina Camp, their new expedition series of little more kind of maybe uh, off-grid focused or just, you know, small to an active lifestyle camping enthusiast landing here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If we're calling a spade a spade and a duck a duck and my Catalina friends are not going to like what I'm about to say, but if we just say this simply as a stick and tin geo pro, you pretty much already understand what it is. But the thing is, it brings with it a very unique skin system, a totally different exterior look, and a nice different, uh, an alternative of an interior uh, skin tone that I think is great. And this gives you the ability to basically build pretty much any solar package you could want with it. But if you approach this camper with the mindset that it's just some knockoff Johnny come lately, I think think you're going to miss something pretty cool. This is something special. They took an idea and they, they really made it their own. But one of the things that they nailed along the way is that awesome access with the slide closed, which is exactly what we're seeing here. And the space you feel when that slide opens up is awesome. But there's a few other reasons it looks and feels nice in here. This has a traditional six and a half foot tall interior. A lot of these little kind of off-grid specialist campers. They are built with like a, uh, maybe a 5'9 sidewall or maybe a six foot sidewall. This has uh, a normal travel trailer interior. That in conjunction with the extra thick skin that we'll talk about outside, that's where some of that extra weight that we've, uh, that you might have noticed comes from. You know, 4,000 pounds, it weighs more than a lot of the 33, 3,500 uh, pound like Asdell ultralights out there. But this thing has a super thick, impact resistant, rugged skin. We have more headroom. You can actually stand in the shower and that lighter, brighter decor that you find in all the Catalinas. It fits here nicely. Up top, we have a low profile 13,500 BTU air. Standard, you don't have to pay extra for that. If you're sensitive to flashing lights, please look away because I'm gonna flash some lights because this thing has an awesome lighting package. And it's neat that all the lights flick with one switch like that, but if you're off grid, you maybe only want to use one or two lights, so you still have the ability to control them all individually. Now, the just the, the view that you get up front is awesome, but before I get too far along, one thing I want to point out is something that might easily be missed, and that is that larger vent fan right up here, right above your bed. So whether it's going to be uh, exhausting extra cooking heat or just pulling in some extra airflow through those side breeze windows or anything like that, it's going to be absolutely fantastic for it. Now... I don't even know where to begin, because there's like, I want to talk about storage, I want to talk about sleep. Let's talk about sleeping first. Okay, so we've got a little camp queen here. That's normal, a little short queen. But look what they did up here in this headboard area. It, at a glance, you're like, okay, so big deal, it's just a headboard. First of all, that outlet right there is inverter wired. So if you want to be able to run a CPAP machine at night, you can sleep in a Catalina without dying. Isn't that beneficial? Also, down here, this chunk of the headboard is a neat little hidden storage compartment. You have your own little kind of headboard storage chest. And I think that's why I want to talk about this first and go into storage from there. I say all the time how every brand does something better than someone else. Coachman just excels at storage. It's just in their DNA. And really we're looking up here, but it actually kind of starts in the slide out. You've got that pocket screwed hardwood cabinet door frame cabinetry all the way around. And I like how the struts are holding those doors open for us. Uh, you know, with a more traditional shape and roof line, they were able to use a more functional and shape of overhead cabinetry. So it's a little more square is what I'm getting at. And square space is easier to handle for storage. Now, as long as we're panning around, let's look at our entertainment. We have Bluetooth, DVD, stereo, but you see that big open slot right there? It is ideal if you want to expand your entertainment. And you've got a larger TV here than uh, most of these smaller campers. This is the same size you get in like a 30-foot Catalina bunkhouse. But what's cool is it is a 12-volt TV. It's the same size, but it's a different variety. So if you are off-grid on battery power, you still have TV power without using that inverter. Also, if I uh, pivot this out of the way, first of all, you see that you can pivot to face at night, but you've also got HDMI plugs right there and we're pre-wired for a Wi-Fi system. So you can truly expand on this if you are so inclined. Also, take note of the fact, let me push this back here. It magnets in place so it's safe in transit, but it, it's flush, it's out of the way. You can still use this for counter space, but it's also lower. So if I sit on the sofa, which is what I'm doing right now, 
It is not a neck wrecker. A lot of RVs, they keep pushing the TV up higher and higher and higher, like where that stereo is. They didn't do that here. They put the TV down where it's at a direct head level, and frankly, I'm slouching, and it's fantastic. Now, speaking of countertop space, like if we looked over here, the stove space and the counter space over there, that's normal. That's what you usually get in a camper this size. So all of this over here, it's just bonus cabinet space, well, a counter space with a cabinet below it. That is just that extra stuff. Like I said, storage, it's just, it's in their DNA. Now, how about this? In something like I mentioned to Geo Pro earlier, but remember how I keep saying this is not just a knockoff product. You have a standard oven here, which is not standard in most of the uh, kind of campers that are in this sort of class and category. Some of them don't even offer it. Here it's standard because Catalina, they do a lot of couples and, and bunk campers. This is the component they use. They said, why not roll it in? And see, that's why we carry so many different brands here at Halet RV, because they all have their own different kind of classifications and characters. Just like all the other Catalinas, we have plywood drawers, sealed edge press membrane countertops. I mean, the storage just keeps on going as we stand up. Back here in that far corner, we have a five cubic foot fridge freezer. There is a freezer drawer inside of it. Um, the uh, question I'm sure that I'll get is, can I get rid of the microwave and get a six cubic foot fridge? The answer is no, you can't. They just don't offer it. Maybe you could manufacture that aftermarket. Coachman does not offer that from the factory. But here's the thing I don't think a lot of people realize. It's not your fridge that gets bigger. It's just the freezer. When you get the two-door job, the fridge is the same size. And I love that segmented kind of silverware drawer that we have right here as well. But let me back up. Let me give you a, just kind of a nice look at everything while it's all closed up and nice and clean. Over here in the kitchen, that lighter, brighter woodwork, it just really speaks to you. Now, again, depending on where you're sitting, you know, you could easily lounge over here on the bed on a rainy day and that TV could be easily viewed from, you know, different directions. This is a camper where they went carpet. No carpet. We don't want carpet. We've got cabinet ducted heating, no floor vents. We're carpetless. We are easy cleaning. Then over here, you've got those, these huge Catalina pillows. What do you guys think of those? Do you like the just enormous size of those pillows? I mean, if you don't, you can always get them out of there. They just seem comically large to me. Um, I also like the fact that you've got uh, pleated nightshades all the way around, and you've got that kind of cinema-style sofa with that folding armrest and cup holders in the middle. I've always been a fan of that. And when it's meal time for real time, you've got a floating Dynofa table. You can easily just convert that sofa into a neat little dining area directly across from your entertainment. Pull out a couple little small folding chairs or bar stools that you, you could uh, easily like store uh, in the pass-through storage compartment that we'll see outside, and suddenly, voila, you have yourself a handy little guest entertainment space. Good look at that night shit I mentioned, and speaking of guests, we have a handy little guest sleeping space. Also pretty good for big dogs, or as my wife says, husbands, when they get in trouble and start thinking for themselves. Yes, dear. <laughs> I joke, obviously. My wife is just the best. She really is. That's why I decided to marry her and, you know, until we die. <laughs> uh, big, full, normal ceiling. Remember how we talked about that. A normal six and a half foot ceiling means a guy like me who's 6'2", six, 6'3", six, I will need to stand in the bubble, in the shower, but I can do it. There's no ducking involved here. We also have a power vent fan. And remember, we have that bigger Max Air fan here in the living area. So this fan is designed to just service this room, which is why the door is not slotted. I know some people don't like slotted doors. It's perfectly sufficient for this one room. For the rest of the RV, you have that Max Air type fan in the living area. Protective shower surround paneling. You have that handy little uh, water saver system. So if you are camping off grid, you don't waste water out of your fresh tank foot flush toilet there, and everything is just kind of nice, light, bright, wide open, and they're using the same extra large uh, vanity here and medicine cabinet that they use in the bigger Catalinas. And that's kind of one of the cool things here. You're getting a lot of big camper parts in a small camper because that's sort of their, their, their alma mater, if you will. The front passer on this one is excellent. Nice, wide, easy access doors on both sides. Some lighting in here. Up top, you see that 1,000 watt inverter, which again goes to one outlet different in each floor plan. The idea being if it's always going to be near the bed, but like uh, if you needed a place to plug in a CPAP machine or you wanted to run a cord for a 
coffee maker or something, you have the ability to do that. They didn't run the inverter to all of the outlets, so you wouldn't murder your batteries, because there's some people that just don't understand it, unfortunately. Also, you see a battery disconnect to prevent uh, parasitic load from eating your batteries live, and the solar charge controller down there. It has a charge controller standard. It does not have a roof solar panel standard, which is very, you don't typically see that in the business, but why they did it, that is why it makes sense. It seems like a, uh, a factory supplied solar package, people say is either too big or not enough. So what they did is they used universal solar plugs so that you can plug in anything you want and that charge controller can handle up to 480 watts of solar. So if you want a simple 100 watt solar panel, if you want to just plug in a side uh, portable panel, it's prepped for that as well. But the fact is you can like do whatever you want with it. It's an easy tow in seven foot wide. I, uh, the uh, windshield on the front for that visibility. There's also, there's very few options on this thing, both of which we're actually looking at here. The first uh, uh, is the power tongue jack. That is strangely not standard on here, although you're going to find we'll put it on every one of these. Um, the bike rack on the front is standard. The kayak rack on the roof is optional. The reason, like normally we would just do a roof rack mount, we wouldn't actually do the kayak mounts themselves because there's still generic mounting bars under those, but you get one with the other here. So why not? Why not just fully deck this thing out? It's not like it's, it does not really cost that much and it gives you the ability to add extra cargo to the roof. Even if you want to like put different bike rack mounts or something up there, you know, whatever the case is, you can do what you want here. Now you can see the dual propane takes up front. That was a smart feature for something that might be off the beaten path so that you have that double propane capacity. And if you're really going to go, uh, you know, woodsy warrior style, you could always easily upgrade to a pair of 30 tanks instead of 20s. Now let's talk about this skin. First of all, man alive, does she have some curb appeal or what? It looks good. So the skin on this is very different. Like you see, uh, over here we have a Cherokee travel trailer. That has a normal uh, 0.024 inch thickness uh, aluminum. That's normal. This is a 0.04. It is a 67% thicker skin. That's part of the reason this thing weighs 4,000 pounds, despite its small size. It is not a laminated ultralight. It is a, basically it has a suit of armor, is the best way I can describe it. So, this is a camper made to maybe go off the beaten path where there's probably low hanging tree branches and stuff raking against the side of your trailer. So they put an extra thick skin on it to be able to withstand that sort of potential, uh, you know, challenger, abuse or nonsense or whatever you want to call it. Now, um, over here, above the black tank plush, you see this little black thing, like what is that? Well, that is an actual mount where you could actually hook up your outside shower, just like you see on the big Catalinas. They brought that neat little feature here into their little expedition as well. Uh, 200 pound rated folding cargo rack on the back, ideal if you have a little portable generator or you just have a bunch of extra outdoor stuff you wanna bring with you. You see how it's got the standard off-road package and lift kit to give you that ground clearance. You don't have to pay extra for that. You don't have to worry about it being not built the way you want it or anything like that. And the spare tire, notice it's not just like a cheaper steel wheel. They still made this all aluminum. They still decked it out nicely. Now you've got a folding ladder on the back here. Again, standard. And the idea behind, uh, like, you're, like, why does it fold? Well, if you have big cargo on that cargo rack, you want to get the ladder up out of the way you can. But look at how intelligent the design was that if you don't uh, have big bulky cargo in the way, you don't have to fold the ladder. You can leave it down and fold the bike rack up. They don't interfere with one another. The, uh, there's a little handy pet leash latch in that bottom left corner there. The power awning uh, with lighting, and on the front awning arm actually has one of those Dometic power channels. So if there's little fans, little lights you wanna run, you have that. And the stable steps down here, the anti-slam door, that bigger handle just make for easy come and go. Now, pardon our footprints up here on the roof. Our uh, quality control check-in team has already revised this RV, or reviewed this RV. And uh, obviously, we, before we accept an RV from the factory, we even get up on the roof to check it out. Now, when you see the overall exterior height of the camper listed, that includes the air conditioner because the AC is standard. So you already know how high that is. Now, if you go slapping a kayak or something on here, obviously that could increase the height. So you have to be a little bit responsible yourself. So once again, 
We like to go ahead and add the whole kayak mount thing because it includes the kayak holder as well as the cargo mount racks here. Uh, you know, it's just why not just do them both, you know? That way if you don't care about a kayak but there's something else you want to do up here, you absolutely can. And when you get it done from the factory, that means that, uh, you know, it's factory warranted. Whereas if you try to install this stuff aftermarket, you theoretically could, but you're not going to get their protection and guarantee. You saw there's the lid for the better fan that we took a peek at earlier. And again, universal solar control plugs right here. So that if, if you do want to add a solar package, you can really like, everyone I've talked to who, uh, like everyone has their own idea of like, what's the best solar? No sweat, you build your own. Now, I wish we didn't have our dirty footprints all over the place here. Unfortunately, it's raining a little bit today. Uh, but the good news is you're not going to see footprints on the top of this when you leave. Um, the reason being, we don't do extra fees here at Halid RV. That's just not what my family, that's just not how we conduct our business. So, um, you know, the, the cost of getting the RV here, cleaning it, uh, giving you, you know, propane and, and battery and surge protectors, that's just, that's part of the price tag at Halid RV. That's what we do every day. And we are going to make sure that every single one of these new RVs leaves uh, so that basically you're set up for success. The only thing you have to do is put food in it and book a reservation or get off the grid, whatever works for you. So if you appreciate what we're doing here, keeping you in touch on the newest and latest in the RV industry, all I ask is you give our team here at Halid RV the fair opportunity to earn your business. We don't do fees, but we do everything else. So if you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, well, we do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy camping, everyone. B -b -b bonus footage! For the launch of this product, the Catalina Group has included a little 20 watt solar trickle charge panel. So understand, not every single one of these here at Halid RV is going to include this feature. However, the first handful, just as a way of saying thank you for being some of our first customers, Catalina is including this. If that ain't cool, I don't know what is.